Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today I've got something really cool to show you. It might be one of the baddest, baddest in a good way, baddest looking dials I've ever seen on a wristwatch, the Ocean Crawler Piranha. Besides the Piranha, I'm gonna show you um, another wild dial and then uh, the new decompression timer that they literally just dropped. Uh, and we'll go over how to use it and stuff. It's, it's kind of, it's pretty cool there. Um, so Ocean Crawler is a brand out of Rochester, New York. I've featured them before on the channel. Um, I've carried them on and off for a number of years. Really nice, full purpose built tool divers, uh, 600 meters of water resistance. Uh, you got Swiss movements in them, real good stuff. And um, I'd say for what they bring to the table, relatively affordably priced. Uh, so we'll see them today. For my own wrist check, um, I've been inspired to dig deeper into the watch chest and on one wrist today, the uh, Orient, uh, what was this, the Planet Orient, I believe it was dubbed. Uh, kind of a cool looking watch, you know, kind of reminiscent of the Planet Ocean from Omega with that orange band uh, around the bezel. And on the other wrist, I am another deep one, the Seiko White Knight uh, with the waffle, silvery white waffle dial, really cool bracelet. Uh, like I said, guys, I've been inspired to kind of dig deeper into the chest and maybe I'll do some videos on my collection. I know I owe some kind of a state of the collection video. I just simply, <laughs> I can't get around to it. Um, so maybe I'll just bring out some more archaic stuff from my collection, show you as time goes on. Let's see the ocean crawlers. So tell me, is this not one of the baddest looking dials you have ever seen? This is the Ocean Crawler Piranha Orange Diver for 2023. And why do I keep tapping this? I, I have no idea. Uh, it just felt right. But the dial is just done so well. I'm holding it at an angle to not get reflections on, you know, on it. Um, if I do dead on, you'll get that. Uh, but look at that. Does that not pop to life? I just need to start here and then we'll go over the watch because, man, that is just so freaking cool. Okay, so it is the, uh, it is an ocean crawler. Uh, it is a 43.2 millimeter case. Uh, it's going to be 15.2 thick to a, you can see it's a double domed sapphire crystal. You may say, Mark, how do you know it's double domed? Well, first of all, what does double dome mean? Double dome means probably haven't described, said this in a while, it means it's domed on the top as well as on the inside, as opposed to a single dome, which is domed on the top and flat on the bottom. A single dome will act like a lens, so off angle you'll see distortion. A double dome will maintain clarity off angle. So when I look at it this way, you can still read the 20, the 15, the 10, if I'm even, yeah, I got those numbers right. I can still read them through there on a single dome. You would not be able to. Uh, let's see, sorry about that. 50 millimeters on the old lug tip to lug tip. She weighs in, or he, I'm not sure. I didn't look at the fish that closely. At 217 grams, does come with an alternate strap, uh, uh, a rubber strap, that's a bonus. It is 22 millimeters uh, is the lug width. Uh, let's see. Sapphire coating on the inside, uh, yeah. yeah, not sapphire coating, it's a sapphire crystal. AR coating on the inside, the crystal is four millimeters thick. Why is it so thick? Uh, because it's 600 meters of water resistance, which is kind of insane. Uh, really deep, beautiful case, wonderful case back etching. You see that water resistance is 60 ATM, sapphire crystal, stainless steel, etc. Beautiful, beautiful case work, look at that. Is that, look at that shroud around it. The orange with the wave pattern cut into it, and the Ocean Crawler logo. Uh, there it is, sorry, there it goes. Uh, helium escape valve. Uh, this is a one-way valve that only opens out, so during ascent, uh, any helium that might be built up from saturation diving uh, can escape the case through the valve rather than popping out the crystal. Because crystals are held with a lot of force in, not out. Uh, I've done that before, but we'll get a little more s into science and stuff when we talk about the decompression dials. Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, so two crowns, uh, what, what's the deal? Well, one of them is to wind, set, hack the Salita SW200 movements, that's a Swiss movement, 26 joules, hand winds and hacks, I pull up the crown to set the time, the second hand does indeed stop. There is no date, uh, is there a date position on the crown? There is. And there is a clicking going on underneath as well. I want to be fully in full disclosure. So even though there's no date aperture, there is a date underneath. And then, oops, there we go. 
and there is the uh, time setting position. Wind it, screw down and turn, full 600 meters, whoops, 600 meters of water resistance. And uh, you may say, well, what's the deal with the other bezel? You probably already know, actually. It is for the inner rotating bezel. So it's a classic dive bezel, and it rotates under the crystal, push down and turn. When you think it's, uh, I'll, I'll move it for you in the right position. There we go. Push down and turn when it's in the right spot. So beautiful, beautiful watch. I'll zoom out a bit to get a little more of the overall. Lovely strap, the keepers, contrast, color, wonderfully or very nicely. Ocean crawler uh, monogrammed on the buckle. Rochester, New York on the strap. If you're not familiar with New York, New York is a big state. Rochester is very, very far away from me. I am all the way in the lower right-hand corner of the state. Rochester is pretty darn far away. Long, long car ride. Hey, we're not as big as Texas, but we are a big state. Oh, uh, let's see, did I go over the, 1,299 bucks. And then while we're on that one, so here's the same exact case watch. This is almost looks like the Kraken watch that they released um, last year. This is the Mythic Blue. Beautiful. Again, another crazy dial. Um, I'm not going to say that it's as bad, uh, bad butt or kick butt. I don't want to say a curse word. I don't want to say it's bad as the uh, Piranha, but it is really awesome. It looks really nice. Uh, this contrasting blue and orange Knicks or Mets leather strap for New York. I, I'm just making that up. I don't know if he's a Knicks fan or a Mets fan. Uh, Christian, that is. Uh, it looks totally awesome. It works great with the watch. The watch is the same price. Uh, let's um, get kind of move the hands out of the way of each other so we can see the minute hand is orange and the hour hand is done in silver and we have a little bit of a uh, orange tip on the second hand, look at that freaking dial. Is that not amazing? I, it is. It's beautiful. So, so cool. Tell me someone's not going to like stop you and say, what the hell is on your wrist? Either they hate it or they're going to love it. Uh, so on to the decompression dial. So the decompression watch comes in three colors, a blue, a black, yellow, and an upside down black and orange. Ta-da. Uh, they are based on the core diver case. So let me get out my notes for this one. Wait a second, I think I messed up. Yeah, I did. I gave you the wrong weight, didn't I? Small mess up. These guys are 126 grams, uh, not 217. Sorry about that. Price was right, $1,299, uh, but the weight was 126. These are 217 grams because they're on a full mesh stainless steel bracelet. They are all the same watch. They're based on the core diver case. So I will just do the black and yellow since, eh, no reason, because it's right in front of me. But I'll show you each one in a little more detail in a minute. Uh, so now let me switch my notes. Still a Salita SW200 uh, movement, uh, 26 joules, hand winds, hacks. This one actually has a date window, so you, you do get a date. Uh, 44 millimeters in diameter. This is 15.6 thick to a, this guy is a flat sapphire crystal with AR on the inside. 50, still 50 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. Beautiful, solid screw down case back. Uh, the crystal is still four millimeters thick for 600 meters of water resistance, crazy. 22 millimeter lug width on a beautiful shark mesh. Comes with a bonus rubber strap as well. Um, these are 999 bucks on the mesh, uh, so let's get into it. Screw down crown, nice cushion case that their uh, core divers are known for. Plunger style, uh, large minute hand in orange and a not so large hour hand because minutes are going to be the most important thing. Date at the six. So. Uh, let's get into it. I do. I had to actually uh, look up how to read the dial and I was sent a video courtesy, um, not courtesy, Time and Tide Watches did a video on the Mito decompression dial watch. Uh, so I just watched it. So if you're watching it and you think, wow, 
how does he know this? That's where I got the information from. I actually did not know how this works. I do know how DECO works in diving because I am a certified open water diver. And I, and I do know that recreational divers should never, ever, ever have to decompress because if you do, then you exceeded no DECO limits and you're not really supposed to. That's for the professionals to do. So how does this work? All right, so the middle of the dial is a it's a circular decompression uh, table. It's four concentric rings. If you're looking at the top center here, actually, let me um, can I zoom in some more. There we go. Let's zoom as close as we can. Okay. Four concentric rings. To the left is male. To the right is female. I'm kidding. To the left is meters. To the right is feet. 40 meters corresponds to roughly 135 feet and going down. So each ring is red uh, to the depth that you will be diving to, or the maximum depth that you'll be diving to, because that's how bottom time is calculated. So right before you descend, you will set the minute hand to the top. And then you will descend. And so let's say you go down to a depth of 135 feet for 20 minutes. Well, if you do, that exceeds the no deco limit. The no deco limit is right around 10 minutes because you can see that the, uh, the, uh, the scale here is like a tannish color. Once it gets to yellow, that is time for you to decompress. Uh, so you have a deco of about, or decompression time of about 20 or so, yeah, 15. Like I'm trying to do the math in my head like an idiot. Uh, you probably should go to the next, next number on the scale to be sure. So you would decompress for around 30 minutes before doing your full ascent to the surface. Uh, if you were going down to, say, 85 feet, uh, which is the smallest scale on here, um, oh, excuse me, the lowest depth, you see that your no deco doesn't start until about 35 minutes. And then if you go uh, down for 40 minutes, you'll look and you need to deco for about five minutes. That's how the scale works. What a real diver uses? No. Um, not anymore. They used to. Uh, they would now just use a dive computer and the dive computer will give them uh, all their decompression stops that they will need in a handy dandy digital easy to read format. Um, but believe it or not, yeah, this is how they used to do it with a dive table, dive slate, all that other stuff underwater. When I say dive computer, guys, dive computer is usually wrist mounted at this point or it could be on the, uh, I guess, on the octopus, the tentacle of the um, air tank. They all have a beautiful 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel, and then you can use the bezel itself to time your deco stop, how long you're decoed for. So let's say you're starting your deco now. Uh, it's pointing here, so 10 minutes, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, etc., etc. That's how you use the watch. Now that you know that none of you will be using it for that, here's the black, yellow, blue, orange. Really cool. Really, really cool. Love the color scheme here. It's a nice deep blue. Obviously, orange and blue go great together, right? On this strap, it would be fire. Uh, nice. Uh, and then the other, the last one is this black and orange. So all of these uh, Decompression or de decompression timer watches are $9.99. Uh, let us get into, I guess we'll do a wrist shot on two of them and we'll do loom. So here you go on my six and a half, six and three quarter inch wrist, uh, about 50 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. I, mean, I do, I do want to say it fits me. It's a large watch. Would I wear, a, wear it this big? So fine. I'll put it above the wrist bone for those of you that say you need to wear it above the wrist bone. You wear it wherever the hell you want, in my opinion. Um, lugs don't overhang. Bracelet is still curving out as it passed my wrists. Um, I do wear watches that are clearly too large for me, um, but I think it works just fine, and it's a really cool, awesome looking piece. Remember in Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson had that wallet that said something on it? To me, the, <laughs> this watch is saying the same exact thing. When someone looks at that watch, they're gonna think the same thing. That is just me, man, it's awesome looking. The watch is beautiful, the fitment is fine on me. There I am on the strap. Really, really cool looking. C3 Super Luminova, absolutely no problem to read. Uh, you've got the, you know, the Piranha or the Mythic in my right hand, probably the Piranha because I just had it on, and then the No Deco, or the Decompression Timer, I keep saying No Deco, it is a decompression watch, uh, Decompression Timer in my left hand. Uh, Sapphire Bezel lights up super well um, on, the, uh, on the Decompression Watch, and then the Interior Bezel, beautiful looming on the uh, Piranha. Looks great.
And that's going to do it. That's been Mark from LongOnWatch.com showing you a bunch of new ocean crawler watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else, you can put them down below. And I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.